I'm disappointed. Nah, I'm disappointed. You're doing Tomorrow you're showing up in a weave. <laughs> Tomorrow you're showing up in a weave. I can see it. Oh, that's it? Every no, Everybody wins? Apparently. Except for Priya, who's last in pretty much every single category. Wait, why is the girl in the wheelchair first? So when you have so many hurtful experiences with partners, right? And then you got telling you, you perfect, you the best, you the baddest. You're just like, bro, stop lying to me because it's not helping me. You're gaslighting my reality. Obviously model, like mm -hmm. long oh, so name, like, hello. Just, uh -huh. Yeah, like just overall, like yeah. beautiful, <laughs> like definitely like Get very on. nice body. Like, hearing that from all of you means so, so much to me. Like, uh, This video is gonna be cringe. Let me warn you on that, it's gonna be cringe. We're just gonna see a lot of women lying to each other, just telling you you're the best. No, you're the best. No, you're the best. Ah. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's been triple one. Let's get into it. Thank you. I completely disagree. <laughs> and I and I just like really, really appreciate that. You have like my ideal body type for myself preference, so I'm gonna switch with you. Mm, I don't know. Like I'm <laughs> I, I like agree. Body. Like, yeah, you work like, out. You're fit. Like you. This is gonna be unbearable. What? What happens? Oh my god! Oh my god! No! I'm a, oh my god! Oh my! That's the, That's what's that gonna. That's what it's gonna be. I said. I said. He said it. Look at. He said it's gonna be cringe. This video is gonna be cringe. It's gonna be a lot of women just lying to each other. He said it. You know, whenever I preach, say something. Believe it. They have. They. They can predict something. Maybe because of the experience. I don't know, but they can see it. Like, you look amazing. Her ass is fat, her yeah, waist is get, tiny. Get, like, over yeah, here. Get, up, get over here. Yeah. I, I don't want to hear it from you. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely want to move myself to the end. Why? 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 No. Because I feel like I'm very short, you know? Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, dudes don't, uh, don't mind you being short. If you got it, you got it. Girl, you're the prettiest one in here. You're the one I'll choose. You're my first option. You know, maybe in a dating app, you're your top three, top two. Who knows? But you're hella cute. Just because you're short, when a girl's short, we all want you. When a guy's short, uh, that's tough. I don't know. I feel like all of you guys are way more beautiful than me. You are petite, but I mean, that's still, you could be, you could have a good body type. I think that accommodates petite and a good body right, type that right. accommodates length. So I think that your body suits you. There's this whole movement going on right mm -hmm. now with representation, but it's. <sighs> Look, fine. Look, yeah, yeah, you're disabled, right? Someone out there will love you. But don't force the media to represent you. Like, let's say, here's a, a woman on a wheelchair. What's good about a woman on a wheelchair? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not. Look, I love representation, right? When you represent people in a different light. Like, here's an example. Weird example, but here's an example. You know Ratatouille, right? Where that chef, where that food critic said, well, I want to say human chef. Then in the end of the movie, he says, talent can come from anywhere. That's how I like represent representation. Like, you don't just see black people, you know, gangs and Asians, you know, trying kung fu, sushi. You want to see like different representations of certain people in a way that's unique. You know, not just black. You know, black is beautiful. It is, but don't force my face, right? Woman, you're, you're, you're you deserve the spotlight, but for what? Not just for you know, you know, you're disabled. Maybe you're talented. Let's see that. That's the representation. I want to see. It's still, I have such an unhealthy relationship with my body because I'm not supposed to like the thing that holds me back from living the lives that you guys get to live and I want to live. You know, when I wanted to put you near the top, it wasn't like for the purpose of representation. I genuinely like you. Your body is yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why y'all lying? Hmm? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Like, why are girls just like lying to each other? Like, like, like there are some guys who lie to you, but this, I don't want this type of lying in my life. The fuck you lying? They know. They know. They know. They know. Even if I take away the fact that she's in a wheelchair, even if you just, you know, take that thought and you roll it out the window. 
when you really focus in on what's happening, okay? that, you're that, foul. No, no. When you really focus in on what's happening, it's not even like even if she could stand, okay. It ain't like like she, she ain't, her, her glutes ain't been used. It ain't like she built like that. I didn't even talk shit. It just is what it is. I'm having to say it because these people are lying on camera. I don't know what. But sorry. You know why? We know why. This isn't about <laughs> like all oh, we need to like I don't know have some right, justice exactly. points. It's exactly. just like you're genuinely like again like. You know how fucking bullshit this? They put this girl in second because she's curvy and got a great figure, and this girl got no curves, and they put her in first. Like the consistency of this shit. And, is and, and, we're, and we're complimenting the other girl because she had a fat ass and a small waist. <laughs> Even though she had work done, so like, I'm like, it's fine. It's like it's fine. You know what I mean? It's it's one thing, um, and I know where it's from and why it's there. You know what I mean? Because that's not that's what we ask women. We ask women to be beautiful and shit. Hmm? It's okay not to be. It's okay not to be. True. Well, it, it's it's okay not to be. I'm and it's okay. You don't have to be the best. You don't. You really don't. Not a lot of us. Not all of us are meant. To be the hero, to be the star. Some of you can just be flipping burgers and you can be happy. Literally, there's literally um, a Roman lookbook where a guy just rolls a boulder. You know that meme where a guy just rolls a boulder? Like someone has to do that for eternity. And he made sure he was good at it. He loved it. And that's the sickest job in my opinion, but he loved it. Not everyone is meant to be the best in our own eyes. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's okay. You can keep saying it's okay. It's part of life. Their dating prospects. No, your dating prospect okay. is not going to be the best. Well, guess what we have to get. It's not okay. Guess what we've been having to fucking deal with since ever. If we was not rich, if we ain't got no chill jaw, if we're not like a certain type, it was off. It's been off. So, yeah, it's okay. What does that mean? It's okay. It means it's part of life. That's what it means. It means it's gonna happen. Cause now, right now, right now, they're lying like it's not happening. Like it's not a thing. Like it's la la land. Like it's just all fairy and shit. And there's like uh, dust and shit, gold dust. Every no, that's not what it is. That's not a reality. The reality is not that. That's what I mean by it's okay. You kind of have like the natural body, you know, and. That's not to say that like plastic surgery, you know, is bad or whatever, but that would be like kind of how I would kind of adjust that. And then I would switch with you because you have like the more model-esque, like athletic kind of body type. Oh, you want to switch with yes. me? Yes. Oh, I, I thought I was going behind you. Mm. I feel like you should stay where you're at. <laughs> or where if she's we, at? If we're, we're voting, voting on that. Right. No, no, where are you going? Oh, yeah. Not so. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. Back it up. Uh. She knows where she belongs. Hey, I know that came out wrong, but hear me out. Look, look. If you have to put it on like a whole row of girls, fine ass girl alone. <sighs> Nine out of ten, all the guys will choose all the other hot girls except the overweight, disabled, uh, uh, mentally impaired, or just they just choose the the standard. If the standard is made when collectively call all of us choose similar things so someone will choose you but you know at least she knows where she stands okay she's still great but at least she knows yes yes roll yourself to last please you know what it is good good for her good for her we love herself a self-aware queen and you know why i say that too just for this it's just like her life experience has told her what it is. That's what I was about to say. So it's, it's one of those things where it's almost patronizing and insulting when someone's trying to convince That's you of an alternate reality. Oh, you the best, queen. You the best. She knows Tinder what she's matches been through. on zero. She knows what she's been through. Yeah. You understand what That's, I'm saying? This is bullshit. She, her everyday life doesn't tell her first place. You're going to be right there telling her, no, I really like, that's not what her experience is. Yeah. That's what it's like, oh, thank you very much. It's very touching, but I don't believe none of y'all. And I'm should. not going to take that. That's because every day she's reminded of that. Yeah. So all, so all this talk is just a bunch of feel well bullshit. But for real people struggling, they can't afford to live like that because they got to they gotta move forward with their life. If you were someone swiping through an app and you were looking at people based off of a picture and you saw someone who was a wheelchair user, would you swipe? Yeah. No. I would. I would. I would date a disabled girl, but if I had the option not to, I would take it. 
and that's okay in my opinion. I have options and I'll take them. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. If, yeah. Bitch, you like, fine. What are you talking about? Who gives a she being in a wheelchair like you a bad bitch she's speaking to society yeah. as a whole yeah yo these ladies are just pass, pass, bro. but that's exactly what the fuck i told you in the beginning of the video bro. it's gonna be unbearable because they're gonna be lying to each other if you see a dude just the fact that he's in a wheelchair are you gonna swipe she has options too and her own rights her own standards so yeah so no don't you have options. Take those options. Like, take the best you can get. So, I'm not gonna judge you on that. And you shouldn't judge a person because of that, okay? That's the reality. And that's why she don't believe none of y'all, because she deals with that every day. I already told y'all, man. When I said the whole thing about zero matches, like, I I've spoken to people with these struggles. Doesn't mean they can't get any. No. But it's also very hard to get taken seriously, or to, because like there's the idea of someone in a wheelchair, but the reality of living with them and dealing with that handicap and having to adjust to your partner. You know, at the end of the day, this is the truth. You deal with somebody who has a disability or somebody who has a mental illness, you're gonna realize that the relationship is not 50-50. It's not 60-40. It's gonna be sometimes 70-30. Sometimes it's gonna be 80-20. Sometimes it's gonna be 90-10. It depends on how severe the disability is. But there's gonna be an imbalance, and most people are not cut out for it. They start to dig in and they realize I want out this bitch. So when you have so many hurtful experiences with partners, right? And then you got telling you, you perfect, you the best, you the baddest. You're just like, bro, stop lying to me because it's not helping me. You're gaslighting my reality. You're making me think I'm crazy because what I'm experiencing, what you're saying are two different things. If I go out with a girl and she's in a wheelchair, we can't move in together. I got to change my whole house. All my house, I got to change that shit. I gotta sell that bitch and find something that is suitable for both of us. Or pay for a lot of renovations. Oh, my guy. A lot of renovations. My guy, it's gonna be. Yep. Yeah. C c no. You know, I've seen people deal with disabled family members, disabled people. And it's tough. No, I'm not gonna lie. Look, you can love someone, but you gotta put in effort for a disabled person. For a mentally disabled person, for a lot of people who are not okay, like you have to support people. Now that's difficult. I've seen my classmates who have a disabled mother just rush out of school, just go pick her up. I'm, oh my goodness, just it's rough. It's, you have to, if you love her, then you gotta carry the burdens, my fam. You can date her, but you gotta carry it. You know what I'm saying? So, and the way it's set up, so just that, if you just take that in consideration, any other people? I can hop in. So don't deny the reality of the lives of those people, the life that they have and what they go through. I'm not often seen as sexy in mainstream media as a disabled woman. There's not really a place yet for people like me to feel sexy. Look, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're a beautiful young woman. But most people can't date you because they're, they're uh, they can't support you and it's good don't be around those people they can't handle or they don't have experience with people like you or they just they just don't want people they just want to they, they don't want a burden in their opinion there are people out there who are willing to take you remember you're, you're beautiful young woman someone will take you but who's willing to take on the burdens and responsibility of taking care of a disabled person See, I think like if we want to acknowledge the trends, I'd switch you two. If we're going based on society, I feel yes. like this ranking would probably be pretty yeah. more yeah. accurate. Yeah. Okay. Probably switch with you, just because I think like this is like who these clothes are meant to be on. Mm -hmm. If that makes Thank sense. Like, yeah. Everybody's yeah. gonna wear them. It's gonna be her. Your style's cute, but it's not something that I envision myself wearing. I would probably move you back to the front. I would bring you before her as well, yeah. Because I'm so insecure about my body, I wear big, baggy stuff. Man, she's really insecure. And it's always the ones that wear the baggy clothes that be the most insecure. It's okay, most girls are insecure, but this one is kind of a, I feel like nobody has talked to her about her disability like directly. Let's have a nice talk. It's something hard for her to deal with and nobody can really understand her because of that and I can understand. I feel sad for her for that. She needs help. Not from me, from people who really care about her. 
Okay. I don't feel like I have a body type that I feel like I really hope off. that after this like you really like start say, wearing yeah. like more like yeah, revealing yeah y'all got me thinking <laughs> I'm all for the hose okay but like <laughs> reveal a little bit more your body's yeah. beautiful I'm like you can see from a oh man she belongs to the streets I'm not gonna lie hey future you forgot your girls here man. a bunch of black girls you know shout out to girl in the wheelchair she's very honest about the fact that it's a struggle in that thing and she's not out here just trying to sell nobody on no positive messaging about bullshit I, I like how candid and open she is because i think a lot of people don't know what it's like to be in that situation so her being candid like that hopefully lets people be more aware yeah, i think, I think everybody agrees we're like where we're at right yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take you. you and I, <laughs> I feel like I would switch with yeah. you. Do you have makeup on? I do. Yeah, I think you guys but should it's like... switch. <laughs> you saw that. You saw that, right? You saw that, right? You saw that. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo. Should I make up because I got makeup on? My little sister Priya, do, do, straight from India, getting fucking savage, bro. Do, do you? She getting savage. This feels like that other video, low key, with the other girl, quiet girl who got murked. They, they murking this girl even harder. Ooh, spicy. My butthole is cleansing right now. Abba, Abba, pause. Pa pause, Abba. Abba, what do you say? No, no, no. Let's talk about the girl. Let's talk about the Indian girl. Let's, let's, let's move on from that. Man, this Indian girl is getting isolated. She's getting pushed to the side. She's getting outed. This is the thing about girls, bro. If you're not, you know, the, the girl, you know, you get pushed to the side, you get put in the curve, you be that quiet girl in the back, you know, she, she hasn't talked. Have you, have you realized she hasn't talked this entire time, man? Yeah? And I didn't even have no Indian food, I just feel like it's leaking. Whew! You just got like a whole ass leak, leaky butt right now. Yeah! 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 Why did you move to the end? Obviously, like, I feel very beautiful in myself, but like when I'm comparing to like society, that's like, I do not fit. I just realized the first time I heard her voice and we are two thirds of this video done. Why is it the innocent ones that get like shunned or pushed to the side for being normal? Like these other ones are like, they're just more pizzazz, more, more for the streets, and they, 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 they show that a lot, that they push that, like, yeah, man, you gotta show, expose some skin, yeah, it's something, girl, she's decent, she's decent and innocent, and they're pushing her to the side, just like that other girl from that other video I didn't react to, or I did, but you guys didn't watch it, you didn't watch it, okay, go watch that video if I did, if I didn't, then... I think I should react to it so you know what I meant. Okay. <sighs> this is why people don't like my girlfriend. She's very innocent or very tamed, I should say, or very focused. Like, most girls don't like her. A lot of people don't like her. I like her. I'll take her for that. I want a simple life, nigga. I'm not playing no games here. Who? Oh. <laughs> she just, she's she just been chilling in last place. Knowing our place. Being like Indian, there's not a ton of representation. The representation that is there is just like hyper like sexualized or like just crazy. Like it's not normal. Even when like representation for brown skinned women, it's like when you think of a black girl, you're not thinking about me. Most people still only like think like mixed or like light skin or like, you know, like that type of beauty standard. And like, and like, I know like more recently, it's become more like popularized, like to, oh, melanin is beautiful. Black is beautiful because it's like marketable and it's like a thing now. So like people- Nah, 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 it's because Abba Fogi the third has come on. Abba's in African mode. <laughs> I don't want you to see that. I will show you, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Abba's in African mode, I don't like seeing it. It's just basically the alphabet. Preach has to deal with that all the time. Okay, so let's talk about the black representation thing. Like what that chick said. Yeah, black people need representation, but no girl, you look like that girl from my hero, that bunny girl from my hero. Okay, that was too specific, but hey, she looks like that bunny girl from my hero. I could do that. So, if you want representation, what kind? Do you want to represent black people as Talented or mus musically talented, no, or I don't know, but you can't just say representation. If you say by looks, then, my girl, you have a weave. 
you have makeup from different countries that were not from black people. Mmm. Okay, okay. Let me move on from her. The Indian chick. Yes, I I don't see it being the Indians being sexualized. But most Indians on TV are light skin. Like I see a lot of light skin Indians. Like I like when I'm in the streets I see a lot of dark skin Indians. But in TV, like light skin, light eyes. Ooh, when I get just light skin Indians. <laughs> like wait, do Indians have a light skin community and dark skin? I don't know, maybe it's just black people who just do that. Come on the scene, you understand me. Your consciousness has got to be connected, but your mind is on the coochie. Sure. Politics got to be connected, but your mind's on the what? Punani, you didn't catch it. You didn't catch it. The sermons need to be doubled up because you've been forgetting the speeches. We cannot allow our sisters to get on live television with a blonde weave made by an Asian woman in Taiwan struggling to suck the titties of the what? Government. Because they don't got no money for their people. So now we wearing their hair because they selling it off for slavery. You understand? <laughs> You're not peeping the game. You look at you brainwashed. Oh, my days. You're not. I'll end this year. You're not. I'll end this year. You can go watch the rest, link is in the description. You can go enjoy the rest of the video if you want. Look, my, my thoughts on this is just very sad, really. I've seen videos of men. Yes, they are kind of holding back on their comments because it's like you're, they're getting recorded. Things that most men say is are very brutal in today's standards. But these women are just holding a lot of things back. They just want to be flashy, you know. It's okay, but... Women's self-esteem is very sensitive. Like, I'm, I'm not judging. It's very sensitive. I'm like, you can just say one tiny thing about a girl. One tiny thing. She'll hold that. There's a, a very small number of women who can handle judgment. And since media and since the Kardashians, they built a very high standard for women. A lot of women are broken. They don't feel like they don't meet that standard. Or they become too delusional. Thinking they met that standard, but they're not really there. It's a tough world we live in, not gonna lie, it's a tough world. It, it is, but it is what it is. <laughs> no, I'm sorry about that. <sighs> well, it's been tripping on the king. These girls need help. That disabled girl needs help. That innocent Indian girl. Yeah, she needs a nice guy, you know? A guy who loves her for her simplicity, the innocence, you know? And keep it that way. I'll admit, yes, Indian representation is a bit too light skin. Uh, black people, are, with black people representation is too dark skin. We need more light skin. You know what I'm saying? You know. Peace.